हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज माय लिमिटलेस टीम फॉर मैच डे टू ऑफ यूसीएल फैंटेसी सो एक्चुअली आई एम नॉट एक्टिवेटिंग माय चिप दिस इज फॉर दोज हु आर सो विदाउट फर्दर डू विल जस्ट गेट राइट इनटू इट सो इन माय गोलकीपिंग डिपार्टमेंट आई एम गोइंग विद ओनाना हु विल बी कमिंग अप अगेंस्ट प्लेजन सो प्लेजन डिड कंसीड 5 एंड डिड मैनेज टू स्कोर 1 अगेंस्ट बार्सिलोना एंड इंटर मिलान डिड कंसीड 2 गोल्स अगेंस्ट बायर्न म्यूनिख स्टिल आई फैंसी इंटर मिलान टू कीप अ क्लीन शीट हियर देन आई एम गोइंग विद PSG duo of Hakimi and Nuno Mendes in my defense they will be coming up against, up against Haifa they did concede a goal against Juventus but i think this is a clear cut clean sheet and i expect some attacking returns from them too in this game this is an away game then it's Dumfries who again will be coming up against Pleasant Dumfries plays in that full back role for Inter Milan didn't get any attacking returns or didn't keep a clean sheet against Bayern but I think against Pleasant he will at least keep a clean sheet so I'm going with him then it's Perisic who again managed to get an assist and also keep a clean sheet in last match day against Marseille that was a home game but this is a game against Sporting which is an away Sporting have scored two in their match day one Perisic almost plays as the winger in that full back position for Spurs so at least I expect him to get attacking returns here too then moving on to midfield it's Kevin De Bruyne who managed to get an assist and also a player of the match in match day 1 taking his match day 1 tally to 9 points and against Dortmund i expect him to start and also get attacking returns here he'll be coming up against spurs in premier league so it will be interesting to see how much minutes he plays against them and i think even though he plays 90 i think he'll start against dortmund then it's zielinski who did manage to score i think against that 4-1 routing of liverpool in match day 1 and he did score two actually he got 10 points for that also got an assist and he was the player of the match for napoli taking his game week match day one tally to 18 and i think against rangers which is an away game he will start and get attacking returns too cause rangers have lost two in a row first against celtic which was 4-0 and against ajax which was again 4-0 so i think they have been in very poor form so i'm going with him so for the third midfielder spot it was against it was between salah and son so both of them are off form lately but son is going to face man city in the premier league so i think he will play the full 90 here and against sporting i think sporting are a good side so are ajax ajax did beat rangers four goals to nil in match day 1 but i think the match is at anfield so i fancy salah to get some attacking returns here both of them that is salah and son play on day 1 of match day 2 The real dilemma starts here because Man City and PSG are both playing on day 2 of match day 2. So we need a player who plays on day 1 and we can cap him because I don't think Salah is a viable option given his form. So I think it's only between Martinez and Osimhen who Martinez is coming up against Pleasant, Osimhen is coming up against Rangers. Both are away games. I think Pleasant are a much weaker side than Rangers even though Rangers haven't been in top form i think they have lost two in a row four goals to nil so i am going with martinez who is on pens i think osimhen is on pens too but i slightly prefer martinez or osimhen in this match day then it's obviously going to be mbappe who scored twice and also got the player of the match in match day one against juventus and it's going to be erling haaland who will be coming up against his former club dortmund he scored twice in match day one i fancy him to score twice again so on my bench it's going to be Thibaut Courtois will be coming up against Leipzig and it's an home game in match day one he did manage to keep a clean sheet so other option was Magnan of AC Milan who will be coming up against Salzburg Salzburg did manage to score one in match day one so i opt to go with Thibaut Courtois then it's Jao Cancelo in match day one kept a clean sheet also managed to get two assists and also nine recovered nine balls so that's incredible so against Dortmund i don't think man city can keep a clean sheet but i certainly fancy him to keep give some attacking returns so it's going to be Ma- real madrid key creators that is modric and vinicius junior vinicius junior did score a goal and also got an assist in uh, in match day 1 against celtic and i fancy him in absence of benzema against leipzig who have recently sacked their manager then it's modric real madrid chief creator again he returned in match day 1 with a goal and also recorded five 
balls and also kept a clean sheet taking his match day one tally to nine so i also have him it was between him and sterling for this spot but i think chelsea have recently sacked their manager and they are in disarray so i fancy modric over him so my match day two day one captain will be martinez my match day two Two day two captain will be Mbappe. So do let me know what do you guys think of this team in the comment section below. Also mention your match day one scores and also mention your queries questions relating to match day two in the comment section. I'll be answering everything, all of them. And if you play FPL, I also post those weekly FPL videos. And do follow me on Instagram at FPL Football Fanatic. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video, which will be my match day two team selection. So good luck for match day two.